What's up guys, it's your boy Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand new sneaker review and today we're taking a look at an all-time classic Adidas sneaker. These right here, these are the Adidas Originals Gazelle. The Adidas Gazelle and this is probably one of the most iconic Adidas sneakers to date besides the likes of the Adidas Campus and the Adidas Superstar and as of lately of course the NMDs, the Ultra Boost, the Yeezys, the Pharrells but yeah, you know, you, know, you get it, you get it already. If you're looking for just like a casual sneaker to wear every single day, the Adidas Gazelle is definitely something I can recommend. The retail price of 79 US dollars or 110 Canadian dollars, the Gazelle is definitely an affordable retro sneaker and if you're frugal and if you're hunting enough, you will be able to find pairs of Gazelles on sale. This is a sneaker that frequently ends up at places like Marshalls and Ross and Winners and of course the Adidas outlets. So if you really like the sneaker, I would recommend checking out the outlets. But right now, if you are looking for a pair, I'll leave links to cop these in the description down below. Not just the red colorway, I'll also have other colorways that might be on sale. And there's also a big spring break or March break sale on the Adidas websites right now. So click the links in the description down below if you guys want to save some money on some three strikes. I think it's so awesome that this is a sneaker that came out in 1991 and it's still just as stylish as it is now as it was back then. This sneaker goes with everything. It goes well with jeans, it sort of goes well with joggers, and it's a sneaker that looks good with shorts. I don't really like to wear shorts very often, but when I do, I have a lot of high top sneakers. So when it comes to picking a low top sneaker for the summer, the Gazelle is definitely a sneaker I turn to very often. And also, if you aren't a fan of the suede or the nubuck uppers of the Gazelle, there are also some prime knit versions available. If you're a hype beast or if you just want to find a more expensive Gazelle to buy, Neighborhood recently did a collaboration with Adidas on these, and they made them with a black prime knit upper, but the retail price is 250 Canadian or 200 US so it's probably one of the most expensive gazelles today. So let's take a look at this sneaker. What makes this sneaker what it is? The gazelle features a pigskin nubuck upper. It's really really soft to the touch. It is a material that isn't very rain friendly so if you are going to wear these make sure you're not going to get caught in the rain. You might want to spray them with some waterproof spray, some suede or some nubuck spray just to prevent them from getting destroyed in the rain. But if you're in a pretty dry climate that doesn't have a lot of rain, this sneaker is something you can just throw on your feet any day and not have to worry about it. Now besides the pigskin new buck upper, there is also some white leather straps going down the side of the shoe. You guys also see that golden gazelle imprinted onto the side of the shoe. Really nice touch. I love the fact that it's gold. Sneakers do come with red laces. There's like deep, deep red laces. They don't come with any extra laces, unfortunately. Um, they also have a white tongue right here going down the very center of the shoe. And there's also the red Adidas Trefoil logo with the Adidas branding underneath. The tongue's also all white. So you guys can see it's all white. The contrast is there. I really, really like this tongue. It's sort of aerodynamic and sort of gives it a sort of athletic aesthetic to it. So if you are into sports, if you're into soccer like myself, I feel like this kind of sneaker is something you'll like more than say something like the Adidas Campus. Now Adidas Campus is also an awesome retro sneaker I would recommend you guys look into. You might find colorways of this sneaker that doesn't exist for this shoe and colorways of this shoe that doesn't exist for this. Either way, the Gazelle and the Campus are two sneakers that live in the same realm in the Adidas universe. So you might want to look into the campus as well. I'll leave my review for these in the description down below. But with that said, these are the recent mint green colorway that just dropped. The ankle color of the shoe uses this white synthetic leather all around. It's really soft and it feels great on feet. You won't have to worry about it really digging into your ankles, which is I know something that some people might have issues with with other sneakers. There's also the white insole with the red Adidas branding and then spinning it around over to the booty of the shoe, you got that famous red Adidas logo on the back. The outsole is white too with a sort of like waffle kind of pattern going on. Now in terms of sizing and comfort for the Adidas Gazelle, I would recommend going half a size down or your true size. I find that going half a size down in these retro Adidas models is something I do pretty often. So if you were looking for a pair, then try them on in store if you really want to guarantee your right size. But I, I always go half a size down, that's just me. Besides that, the overall comfort is really solid. It's an average Adidas retro sneaker. They didn't implement too much technology into this shoe. So if you have long, long days of walking around and just going all over the place nonstop, the Gazelle is something I probably wouldn't recommend to you. But if you're just doing some general walking throughout the day, or if you're just looking for a sneaker to wear at school, or if you're just in a city urban environment and you're sitting down for some points of time as well, then the Gazelle is something I would look into. That's gonna be my review of the Adidas Gazelle. Let me know what you guys 
guys think about these sneakers in the comment section down below are these sneakers a cop are they a drop do you own a pair do you know anybody who owns a pair because it's a very very popular sneaker but with that said i can't i can't review these shoes without showing you guys what they look like on feet so i'll throw them on feet and i'll catch you guys in the next video by the way links in the description for the shoe along with the crazy adidas march break sale all right that's it i'll catch you guys next time peace out just trying to strike go she trying to strike go we just trying to strike go i'm just trying to strike go yeah Go light the bangs on my teeth Fly like my jammies got wings Not out in the street Just trying to eat Yeah, so poke you if you just want beef